In a game like Injustice 2, where many characters have the ability for zoning, it is no surprise that you'll find people online using that strategy against you. That is why I put together a list of characters that have the best capability to deal with this kind of situation. Welcome to my top 5 anti-zoning characters in Injustice 2. What's good guys, my name is Metal Games, and welcome to another top list video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the best anti-zoners in Injustice 2. And just in case you don't know what anti-zoners are, it's pretty much characters that are very effective against heavy keep away characters. Before we get started, I do want to mention I have a video where I go over the easiest character in Injustice 2. And if you haven't watched it yet and are interested in video, be sure to check it out. Anyways, if you have any ideas on what kind of top 5 videos you guys want me to go over in the future, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. With that being said, let us get started. So the first character on this list at number 5 is Black Manta. Black Manta is on this list because you'll notice he provides very nice mix-ups and setup options that can quickly make a zoner feel uncomfortable. He's also armed with some anti-zoning capabilities. Taking a look at his attack and special move, we obviously know he offers a quick teleport special move that is great for punishing zoners. Enhancing the special move will pop the opponent into the air for the additional combo. But just like Supergirl, it's very important to not use this all the time when punishing a zoner, otherwise it will become extremely predictable. Another reason for Black Manta being on this list is because of his mid-range tools. This helps Black Manta close the gap during a fight and can make a zoner feel uncomfortable. He has many mid-range tools, but his key ones are his back 1-1, which has decent range and is quick, and leads to a nice combo into the air. This goes perfectly with your trait. Another key mid-range tool is his forward 2-1. It has great range and it helps him start his setup pressure. What is good about this string is that adding a 3 will add an overhead at the end and pushing the opponent back so that you are safe. He also offers a harpoon gun special move which pulls his opponent towards him and switch sides at full screen. And although it is not a projectile, it can whiff and is safe during block. This is also possible to do in the air. Now, Black Manta character trait allows him to use his jetpack and fly a limited amount of time, which becomes helpful when trying to dodge many high and low projectiles. You can combo with this with your air harpoon gun to potentially punish zoners from the air if you want to. If you want to play a character that has anti-zoning capabilities but don't have to zone back in the process, Black Manta is the character for you. Next on the list at number 4 is Adam. Adam is on this list because he provides many tools to get around zoning and has the setup to make a zoner feel uncomfortable. Taking a look at his attack and special moves, he offers a nice quick teleport that makes you go behind your opponent. Enhancing the special move will add an additional attack for more damage. This can also be used in the air which gives Adam great mobility for dodging projectiles. But on block this is unsafe, so try to be careful when using this. Another reason for Adam being on this list is because of his Atom Bomb special move which he stomps into the ground and knocks the opponent down at full screen. Enhancing this special move will make this unblockable. What I like about this special move is that you can force zoners to jump and stop throwing the projectiles with this move. This is a very unique way to counter zoners. You can dodge a projectile, then stop afterwards and then teleport behind them once they jumped. Now, when Adam character trait is activated, he uses his bio belt to shrink for a little bit amount of time. In this state, his mobility has increased by a ton. Pressing 2 2 2 will juggle the opponent across the screen, which is a great way to move zoners into the corner, which is every zoner's weakness. Adam does very well in the corner because he provides chemicals that could benefit this situation. It's all about setting up your play. If you want to play a character that has anti zoning capabilities but involves around setting up your play while not having to zone back in the process, Adam is the character for you. Next on the list at number 3 is Dark Side. You know what they say, sometimes the best way to counter someone is to play fire with fire. Darkseid is on this list because his pressure and zoning can make zoners feel very uncomfortable. Going over his attack and special move, Darkseid offers a fast moving projectile that knocks the opponent down at full screen. Enhancing this special move will deal more damage and allow you to point up or down to change the angle of the projectiles. You now have a very dangerous low attack that goes full screen. And speaking of full screen, Doing the enhanced arrow mega beams will literally cover the whole screen. Your opponent will literally have nowhere else to escape. Since you can use your projectile in the air, this gives Darkseid a very good mobility for dodging and trading projectiles. 
Another reason for him being on this list is because he offers a quick teleport that makes you go behind your opponent. Using this with Air Doom will make a great punishing combo against zoners. And his combo does a lot of damage, which is why he is very good against zoners. Now when Darkseid character trait is activated, he summons Parademons that helps you set up your play. Pressing 4 will summon a flying Parademon that shoots a projectile at full screen. Pressing back plus 4 will summon a charging Parademon that will perform an overhead attack at any range. And lastly, pressing forward plus 4 will summon an explosive Parademon that will explode near your opponent. With a trait like this, you have many ways to pressure and deal with zoners. If you're looking for a character that has very good mobility and a good pressure while having to zone in the process, Darkseid is the character for you. The next character on this list at number 2 is Supergirl. This one is kind of obvious but Supergirl is one of the best anti-zoners in Injustice 2. She has been the go-to character when it comes to zoners and it makes sense. Going over attacks and special moves, Supergirl offers a fast moving projectile that knocks the opponent down at full screen. It is one of the fastest projectiles in this game too which gives her an advantage when trading projectiles. Because your projectile knocks your opponent down on the ground, this will allow you to set up your next play. What is also great about them is that you can point up or down to change the angle of the projectiles. This is part of her trait so you're going to have to learn how to manage them. Another reason for Supergirl being on this list is because of her overall pressure. She offers pretty easy tools to make a zoner feel uncomfortable. You can easily use her high mobility to low poke into her ice breath combo starter which will allow you to follow up for a big combo. Now Supergirl is also a good counter to zoners because of two other things. One is her mobility. She can dash forward and dash back and cancel it to another dash or cancel it into a teleport giving you so much air mobility. And the great thing about having air mobility is having a lot of space control. With her lasers, she can cover any angle or any space on the screen, which gives you the control of the battle. Now obviously, we also have her teleport too that gives her the best advantage when facing against zoners. And enhancing the special move allows you to extend it for a big combo, which makes this the reason why she is one of the most picked characters. There is just one problem with the teleport though, it can be very predictable if you keep using it. So it's very important to use this wisely when facing off an opponent online. If you want to play a character that has great mobility and pressure while using some zoning in the process, Supergirl is the character for you. Before we get into a number 1 anti-zoner in Injustice 2, I do want to mention other characters that have some capabilities. Now these characters are hybrids of other playstyles but still work against zoners. The first character that has some anti-zoning capabilities would be Starfire. She does offer some anti-zoning tools that makes it easier against zoners. The next character that has some anti-zoning capabilities is Red Hood. He offers very good range attacks that is good against zoners and offers plenty of good projectiles. The next character that has some anti-zoning capabilities is Raiden. He does offer a nice set of combos and a teleport that can make a zoner feel uncomfortable. The next character that has some anti-zoner capabilities is Superman. Because he's a balanced character, he has tools to fight against close and distance combat. The next character that also has some anti-zoning capabilities is Batman. Just like Superman, because he's a balanced character, he also has the tools to fight against close and distance combat. The next character that has some anti-zoning capabilities I think will be Donatello. I know he just recently came out but his long range attacks and his trait that cancels out projectiles looks very promising for dealing with zoners. The final character that has some anti-zoning capabilities is Atrocitus. He offers tools like Blood NATO and his trait that could help him out in dealing with zoners. Finally next on the list at number 1 is Enchantress, one of the newest fighters to join the roster. Enchantress is on this list because she has the best capabilities to deal with zoners. You can say she was kind of made to counter zoners. Going over her attack and special move, Enchantress offers a Hellgate special move that has the power to reflect projectiles. This itself is already a good tool to use to counter zoners. Zoners will now have to be aware of the projectile they throw. Since this is a special move and not a trait, you can repeatedly create the barrier again and again if the zoner decides to spam. What is also great about this tool is that this barrier could protect you if you need the time to perform other special moves. And also the fact that being able to counter projectile just by laying back is easy and effortless. Another reason for her being on this list is because she offers pentacle hex that allows you to curse your opponent and take something valuable away. The first curse is Iwaz and this will deal damage to your opponent when ducking or jumping. 
The second curse is Hagals, which the cursed player takes damage when using the super meter and gives the super meter to enchantress. The third curse is Manaz, which the cursed player cannot clash or gain super meter. And the final curse is Fedhu, which the cursed player cannot perform any special moves. With a special move like this, you have many ways to approach and counter zoners. Now when Enchantress character trait is activated, she summons a demon to assist her during a fight. Normally when the demon approaches your opponent, he will perform an overhead attack. But you also have a couple of options of what to do with your demon. Pressing down forward 4 will cause your demon to sacrifice and explode. And pressing down back 4 will cause your demon to guard you from your opponent. This could allow you to create nice setups since your opponent won't be able to physically do anything about the demon. If you're looking for a character that has the perfect tools to counter zoners and plays with a lot of setups while not having to zone back in the process, Enchantress is the character for you. There you guys go, this concludes my top 5 anti-zoning characters in Injustice 2. Based on the characters I picked, it's safe to say that characters with the teleport ability and a good amount of mobility is the best way to take zoners down. But I do want to mention something very important. The order of this list should not matter because as long as you pick the anti-zoner that you are best at and comfortable with, you'll find yourself having easier time taking a zoner down. Out of all these characters, I found Black Manta the best because he fits my playstyle. Anyways, let me know who is your favorite character to pick when you're going against zoners and characters you would recommend in the comments down below. If you liked this video and found it helpful, be sure to give this video a like. Liking this video will motivate me to continue doing more. Also subscribe to my channel for more Injustice 2 videos. If you have any friends that needs help picking the anti-zoning characters, remember to share this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, Minus Metal Games, and I'll see you guys next time.